Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to install an SSD into your Dell Latitude E5500 laptop computer. I will be using this SanDisk 120GB SSD, but basically any SSD will do. I happen to pick this one up for about 40 bucks, 120 gigs. Because the Latitude E5500 is limited to SATA 3 gigabit per second, you should not look at the very expensive or very fast SSDs because you will not be able to achieve writes and read speeds of more than 300 megabytes per second. So, you know, the real, ex the more expensive and more high quality SSDs that do 500 and 500 will not get their proper speeds anyway. Okay, so, let's prepare our laptop for the SSD installation by flipping it over. There we go. First, we're going to remove the battery. Press this tab right here and pull on the battery and the battery is out. Put that aside. Now we are going to take out one screw which is located right here. There we go. This one right here. Now you will need a pretty small screwdriver in order to get this one out. This is the only one that I currently have available that will actually fit this one. I need it's a pretty tight screw. Once you've popped that out, you can pop off this cover by pulling it towards you. And you can lift it out of the way. Put that aside as well. Now, here are all of your main components. This is the entire cooling system. Here is your hard drive located. Here are your expansion cards and here's the RAM. The other things, you know, upgrading the RAM and whatnot, I will cover that in another video as soon as I got RAM to upgrade on this. Now we're going to upgrade the hard drive. First we have to make sure that the hard drive is no longer connected to the laptop. For that you need to remove these two screws here. And this tiny one here as well. And uh, yeah. This one was slightly off camera, but this one as well. So there are four screws to take out. There we go. We sh now we can just pull it back. Like so. And now you gotta get a little bit creative. Yours might still have the tab on top, mine does not, so you can wiggle it out of there. And here's your hard drive. This is my default hard drive, a Seagate Momentus 80 gigabyte drive. It's now taken out of the machine. Now we need to remove the hard drive from the caddy. There are four screws located on the hard drive. We need to take each and one of them out. Put these aside as they are different from the other screws. They can be quite tight. You need, a, once again, a small screwdriver bit in order to get them out. So, just one more screw to go. There we go. And now, the hard drive should be removable from the caddy. There we go. Put the caddy aside, we'll need to use that. And here is your hard drive. If it was dead, then you can now throw it away after destroying it with a hammer. And if not, you can just put it on your shelf, use it as a backup drive for whatever purpose. Now we need to take a look at the SSD. I haven't actually unboxed it yet, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Sandisk packaging is quite bad. I have to admit, but your SSDs are pretty good. Just destroy the packaging. They'll do the job. And now we just need to get the SSD out. Like so. This is the SanDisk SSD Plus 120 gig. Okay. 
and here it is out of the packaging. 120 gigabytes, it's say the 6 gigabit, but I highly doubt it will be able to achieve 6 gigabit speeds because it was so cheap. These are us these usually go around f for about 50 to 60 euros. This one was 40 because it was a special promotion deal. Now we need to make sure, because this cage will go on top, that the connectors are lined up properly. The SATA data connection needs to be facing this way. It needs to go in like this, so you need to put the cage on like so. So you have to put it upside down in the cage. The four screw holes should line up. Now we need to put all of the screws back in the cage. Two more to go. It's a very easy process, really. Now we can slide it back in. There we go. It is now fully secured. At least the SSD is secured in the tray. Now we need to put in all of the little screws on the side. Having a magnetic screwdriver will definitely aid you here. Mine is somewhat, but not terribly. And therefore, it might take a little bit of effort. Once all of the screws are back in the caddy, we can reapply the cover for the laptop that we put aside earlier. It's very simple again, just slide it on, it will snap into place, put in the last screw, there we go. Boom, and we're done. Just pop in the battery. Flip that laptop over again. Open up the lid. There we go. And now we need to make sure that the SSD is detected. So let's go to the BIOS by pressing the F2 button. Let's see here. Yep, it says 120 gigabytes HDD right here. So the SSD is properly detected. All we need to do now is install Windows on it, and uh, yeah, well, then you're good to go, really. So, that was a quick video on how to install an SSD in your Latitude E5500. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you all for watching.